Welcome back to UTSA. Now, in the last episode, we did have a doubleheader where we beat UTSA and Baylor handedly together. And for the past, like, four weeks, we have not moved up into the rankings. But this week, that might change because we do play number 25, Kansas. And let's see if we can extend our seven-game win streak to eight games eight game winning streak and stay undefeated in the big 12. the sun bowl is rocking they are cheering on their number six utep who knows how long it's been since they had something to cheer for like this let's let's give them a show mike franklin stays on his feet he's not fast enough to outrun him but he is strong enough to break off the tackle what a play by franklin there goes Sean Hill. Another big first carry for Sean Hill. Sean Hill wide open. Can't get into the end zone, but he got pretty close. And there he goes, untouched into the end zone. What a methodical drive with only rushing plays. That's what you can do when you have Mike Franklin and Sean Hill as your one-two punch. Quick pass and Clay picks it off. And for two weeks in a row, we are going to get a defensive touchdown. That was beautiful. That was an awful pass by them. Don't know why he even threw something like that. But Clay picks it off and takes it all the way back for our second defensive touchdown in two weeks. So that's usually what happens when they, when they try to run the ball. Except for, I mean, Bush did get the tackle, but did he actually get a tackle? It looks like the guy tripped into him more than anything. And they're going to try to run it on third down, even though they haven't gotten anything on run plates, but I'll take it. Fourth down. There goes Hill. And Hill breaking tackles and gets tackled by the feet again. Controls left wide open into the end zone. A touchdown for your UTEP Miners. Oh my gosh, Bush got burned again. And can't even make the tackle. Jones had to come clean it up. Wow. Okay. They. I'll give them credit for that one. Oh man, Franco just trucked the mess out of that man. See if we can get it over there. Oh, that's intercepted. Holy crap. I mean, was it really? It does look like he got one foot in. And at the end of the first quarter, we are up 21-7. We have shot ourselves in the foot a couple times, but that's about it. And Wiggins just goes back there and destroys him. Franklin trucks a man again. He just keeps running over these cornerbacks. Quark's wide open by himself, outrunning number 21 into the end zone. Yeah, he's going to try to run it. Oh, he gets out and just runs into the sack. If I was him, I would just throw that ball away quickly. It's a screen that actually works because they block downfield, which... I would think would be pass interference, but that's fine. Get out to Sean Hill on the screen. Breaks off a tackle and picks up four. Sean Hill takes it into the end zone untouched once again. I hate to say it, but I think Sean Hill might be a little bit better than Deion Hankins. And Hill's only a sophomore. This is a huge game. If Purdue can pull off this upset, we are guaranteed to move up in the rankings. Finally. Quick pass and Clay gets beat. See so if we can get home on the blitz or get an interception. What an interception by right there. That was that was beautiful, you guys. That's one of the best interceptions I've seen this team have. It's been a while since we've had one of these, so let's throw it out to Wilkerson, who makes the catch. Hurry up offense. He hasn't been breaking away that much. In the past few weeks, so let's see if we can either get him or Clark on one of these. Let's see if we can get it to Wilkerson, who makes a back of the shoulder catch. That was a beautiful ball placement and a beautiful catch by Wilkerson. 
We got to start getting him going again. Could have placed that ball any better. And at the end of the half, we are up. You know, UTEP Miners are up 42-7. to seven. It's a blowout. So let's go ahead and turn on Conservative and get this game over with. It's a screen that's blocked up pretty well. Blocked up really well. Let's see if Bush can get there and get him. And he does, but that was a big game there. And Jones gets beat, but he tackles him by the ankles before he gets a touchdown. Let's give them a taste of our own medicine with one of those touchdown saving tackles. There's a handoff straight in the middle, and he gets in untouched. Our defense collapsed there, but I don't think they would ever collapse like that again. Uh, did not mean to hand it off, but it looks like it, it's going to work. We still get 10 yards. Oh, Franklin puts on a move, puts on another move. Um, hello? What the heck just happened there? We also rushed for 2,000 yards on the season, but, uh, what happened there? That was crazy. It got just pushed up in the air and the ball just came out. Okay. Um, sure. And they're just beating the zone. They keep getting big plays, man. And there's another one. Sims intercepts it. Let's get the touchdown that we should have had. That is three defensive touchdowns in two weeks. That is amazing. I was kind of worried because I was like, if they get a touchdown, they're only going to be down 21. But, you know, it's Kansas. We're UTEP. We'll be okay. Sims gets a pick six. That's two on the day and three in two weeks. Our defense has come to play. A few moments later. Oh my gosh. I don't know why our defenders keep getting beat so bad, dude. Malone gets another sack. We finally reached three sacks on the day. And Malone has two of them, I believe. And Malone gets another one. Set for 11 yards. Fourth and 30. And Sean Hill breaks free again. Gets tackled by the shoelace, but a big 30 yard gain. The screen out to Hill, who doesn't get the first down, but third and inches. And at the end of the third quarter, your UTEP Miners are up 49 to 14 with two pick sixes in the game, and Sean Hill going nuclear once again. Oh, good blocks, except for that one, but Franklin still beats it and gets into the end zone. Those are some really good blocks, I'm going to be honest. That was a beautiful ram play. Oh, I probably would have, probably could have had an interception, but it switched me to Clay, and I dove. <laughs> Don't know how I didn't get that tackle for a loss, but we still tackle him before he gets the first down. So, all is right in the world. Um, Kansas' band just started playing randomly. I guess they've been waiting to play for a long time, so they just decided to do it now. Pitch it out anyway to Sean Hill, who breaks the some ankles and takes off. Is this going to be another touchdown? And it looks like it is. Touchdown, Utah. 64-yard run. After what should have been a blown out play, but Franklin heads up to get it to Sean Hill and Sean Hill to break an ankle and take it all the way down. We are putting up 60 on them. Looks like it's a screen and they're going to get it off. Wiggins is coming from the behind. Can't get the tackle. Let's see if Clay can. And oh my God, he just got punched in the face. Oh, right. Got beat that time and he gets into the end zone, but that's okay. Well, We'll give them some mercy points. Sean Hill is just a monster, man. You're not going to stop this guy. And Sean Hill takes it in again. If they want to get the garbage time touchdown, we will too. Also, leave down in the comment who you think is better. No bias. Tell me who's better. 
Deion Hankins or Sean Hill at this point. And Purdue pulls off the upset, which means we should be coming into the top five or at least rank five, hopefully. Uh, who knows, because they'll probably like talk crap about us and not give us what we deserve. And that is game. With that, the UTEP Miners pick up the win, 70 to 21. We just saw that Michigan got beat, so that should mean we move up in the rankings. Hopefully, our team did amazing. Four touchdowns for Franklin, four touchdowns for Sean Hill. I just, it's crazy, man. We are, Sean Hill had 260 yards rushing. Man, I just, I love Deion Hankins more than the next guy. And I know he's the real life running back, but Sean Hill has been the best running back I've ever played with in this game. And there's no doubt about that. So, I mean, that's just, it's crazy, man. Welcome to College Football Playoff Selection Show. Presented by AT&T. And if we look at the polls, it looks like we do go up one rank. We are officially in the top five for the first time in this dynasty. We have come back to build a top five program. And at the end of this season, I wouldn't doubt that we'd be even higher. We have now won eight in a row. We have beaten every single Big 12 conference team. We have two more games left for the season. We have West Virginia at home and then Texas Tech at Texas Tech. And that's going to be the biggest game. But this is our last home game. So it's going to be a sad day for our seniors. So let's get a win with them, for them. And uh, we're going to have a special orange effect game. Let's see how that looks at night. If you guys did like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you keep coming back and you haven't subscribed yet because UTEP is great. UTEP is the best team in college football in this revamped series but not maybe not in real life but hopefully they can get there hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as i enjoyed making it and i can't wait to see you guys on the next one peace